one in and it's running hey everyone welcome to this bit of minecraft tree redstone review well i'm basically going to be building so i'll showing off this circuit now if i just set time set here if i show you off this circuit basically what it does is that it takes a train and a train can pass through this block or this system that i've set up without the need for the switch changing however if i want to change the switch instead of stopping and getting out the train i can actually sit in the train take my remote and click it and as you can see when i click my remote it will change the switch and then i can move my train through to the other detector and go through but how does this work without breaking um, if the train is normally running along and someone decided to switch the switch it would not switch the only time it would switch is when it moves over the next detector which basically is just an advanced detector with cut haulers inside oh i think i'll switch that from there so what it does it uses a t flip flop mechanism to switch on a, an and gate and when the train is on the detector or is past the detector which is and has uh, got a has been switched or by the remote it will switch on and it will send a signal over to this uh, switch to let it go that way however the way it keeps itself from not breaking is that when it goes over it switches on this switch will not turn back unless it passes the next detector which is good which means i can either put this one back or have the last car detect and this can basically keep the switch on until the uh, train passes this and then when it passes the switch turns back and it goes back and the way it does that is that this and this is seen as a block these two here are seen as a block they are if you ignore this if you ignore any of this so if i just put some blocks on top to say ignore that if you ignore any of this here this is basically just normal running track you can have normal signals in between however what keeps this in is that if the if it was if it wants to go on the other side i have a detector here that will basically trigger this one and also the one the signal came in now you may ask why do i want to trigger the line that had the signal come in well when i switch this on it will keep it detected and let's say the train goes through normally the next time it goes through it will not fire correctly and the AND gate won't be properly um, uh, signified and so because of that we need to fix the this this line as well as this line which is the normal block going from here to here so when the train goes from here to here as you can see it switches one it fires once this line triggers the bottom one here this one is this one and so wait no not that one there that fires the same line again and not this line and that way this protects that circuit and switches it off so it stays off and it can be fired usually otherwise when the next train comes in this will not fire and so it will not change however when it goes on here and has a signal get out and has a signal it will switch over to the other side both lines are engaged so to switch off both lines it needs a signal from here to go here and also a signal to the remote line or the for for this line to fire as well and so i have this receiver in the middle which is this one which basically makes sure the train has cleared the switch and also cleared this and so that protects the train so if i do that keeps it all protected now let's put some loads of carts in behind this is electric it is electric yes yeah, but some cart or mine cart actually mine i will put loads of carts in behind that way we can make sure that this train works of course going straight it will not break that's that's a given unless if someone has messed up the signals behind it will not break but let's test out this line see if this works so Put loads of these in. Bit of steak. Now 
I need to make sure we get it longer than this section here. So I think I might need like 12, not 12, but it's about a block each actually. Get some next to it, makes my life easier. What are you doing? Why are you going inside of each other? Okay, that's fine. They're stuck, stuck together. I think that should be uh, two more, actually. Right, now. If I get inside the train and power it up, I said give the switch signal. It's how long it this will stay on that one. No. So what you, you what you have to w watch out for is that if the train passes this switch before the entire thing has cleared, then you will get issues like this. You will have issues where the train fully breaks. So what you need to do is keep this far enough in front so that the trains go so so the trains pass it cl uh, properly, or have the last car on this side. So if in the detector you can have the if you have a special car at the back. Let's say we had a caboose. I think there's a caboose. Oh, come on. See, we had a logging caboose at the back, so let's break all this first. So that this 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 is only triggered. This will be only triggered when this when you detect this caboose. Of course, this one is detected when the train is because when the front train is because you don't want the last one. Otherwise, it'd be too late. If I put this in, oh, stop. Okay, uh, go back a bit more. And as you can see over here, the switch line has actually been cleared properly as well because it did pass that detector. So we are clear. So put you on there. Put you on there. Put you on there. Put you on there. And the caboose. Other way around. Did I switch it back again? I did. Uh, no, I've, okay, I've already set it. That's alright then. Fine then, if you want to go that way. Right. Put some redstone in. Planning. Oh, I didn't plan enough track here. Oh well. <sighs> Get some track from over here. Let's see if I can temporarily fix this. Put all of you in. Let's put a thing on the front because I need that to pass that. Redstone in for electricity. Push forward a bit more. Let's have a look. Come on, a bit more. But there you go, you heard the click, passed over, and this got cleared. So with this setup, one, it works well for automatic trains or wireless remotes, and this can be also put in with wireless, uh, or actually not a signal house or signal blocks. For example, a tower over here which controls signals can basically have the same system, where instead of replacing this with whatever input you want. However, you will have to enforce some type of back train to be there, like either on caboose or another type of train or something like that to fix the block or put this further down for example if you're running passenger rail 
you know your cars are only going to be 10 cars long or 5 cars long or 12 cars maximum so you can put it as far down as you need to and so that can protect your switches but for work trains you're going to have to put something like a lugging caboose on the end to protect it so that's all you are going to have to do uh, this concludes my system of course you can then tie this uh, let me have a look on the map did i build a thing on this map is it over here hmm. i've also built a signaling link system um is it over here no it's not i'll show you the signaling system on this server so if i get on the actual server where this will be showcased and be used. Um, I built a signal system and this uses T flip flops to actually act as the redstone blocks in between. So if I get HST, do I have a HST on me? Yes, I do. I got power. Right. If I go over to my capital station, you know, brother, this is Britain. Ooh. There we go. I have a signaling system set up on the lines to HST1, where if it passes over this detector, which is uh, made for HSTs, uh, did it catch it properly? There we go, yeah, it did. Where it will trigger a switch. Let me put the track angle on, actually. Where it will trigger a switch that basically switches it out off and I'll show you the circuit in a moment but basically you run down here and then this will basically trigger once it is triggering there you go and that's gone to red and this side should have gone to yes it did go to green and of course this is the prime example where that system would be used best where you have switches like this where you want main traffic's going down this line and then this is the sub or the branch line that goes into some important areas like the mob farm town hall and the signaling system this is where the main signaling system is and as you can see this is where it's triggering from it's basically a t flip flop uh, a T flip flop is a circuit where you give it a button input or the input from the train, which is, which is a button because it's only short, and then it basically moves an item around or moves something around to give a true or false state out. So if I trigger this one, so that's a button, and then it keeps a true or false state out. And this is what I use the first detector, second detector, third, fourth, fifth. When the first one goes off, it triggers it and makes it go red, as you can see the red. But then, when the second one triggers, this line becomes uh, off, this goes to green, because it would have passed that block. But the next block goes red. And by the way, these signals are right next to the detector, so the trains behind it will be stopped because there will be a train in front. And this goes red. And so on, and so on, and so on. And that's how I've built this entire system. And you, it goes quite far, because it goes all the way towards Stratford. And so, yes, that's how this entire system works. Of course, here is where I'll be implementing the wireless signals over there on the branch line. And of course, in interjections like this, in junctions like this. So yes, and that is how I'm gonna upgrade the network. So HS1, HS2, and HS3 will all be getting upgrades like signaling and smarter signaling and wireless signals to better protect the lines. As you can see, this is HS2, but it hasn't got the signals in yet. Alright, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video about railcraft and traincraft signal integration. And I hope you try to use this on your railway because it is quite simple. Alright.